Now, the last thing I will show you today is what if you want to get not just a single letter, but you want to get a subset of letters in a word. In Python, we call a subset of a string a substring. And we uh, access it, uh, kind of get a substring out of a, out of a string, but something called slicing. So a slice it looks very similar to indexing, but it uses a colon. And we give what index we're going to start from, and then what index we're going to go to, um, separate by a colon, and that slices our word into a smaller piece, or a string into a smaller piece. I'll point out here that the start index is inclusive, so we include that character. So we include index 3 here, so D, whereas the end in index is exclusive, meaning that we take all of the letters up until the letter index 6, but not including index 6. So name 3, uh, name open bracket 3 colon 6, close bracket is us slicing the string name, slicing into it, getting uh, index 3 through 6. And here we take, so index 3 is D, index 4 is E, index 5 is R, index 6 is I. We take up to index 6, but not including index 6. So we get D, E, R, der. Um, here we can just take a look. Okay, well, the start, so starting from 0, going to index 4, that gives us uh, Fred, F R E D. So 0, 1, uh, F R E D. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't include 4, so 0 through 3. Uh, a handy shortcut you should know is if you leave out the start index, Python will just fill that in, assuming that you mean to start from the beginning. So you can see I start with zero here. Uh, if I get rid of zero, Python just assumes you mean zero. And so um, zero is kind of included there. We get the same output. The same is true for leaving out the end. If you leave out the end index, then Python will assume you mean go all the way to the end. So when you do name and slice in name five colon nothing, that tells Python you're gonna start from index five, including the letter in index five, go all the way to the end of the string, include all the letters, so Rick. Um, and finally, if you follow this kind of closely, you might ask, hey, what happens if I leave out both? Well, yeah, you get an exact copy of the string because you start from the beginning and you end at the end for your substring. Let's play with this a little more in our, uh, in our file over here. So let's say that we want to print print the first part of the word is let's say we're going to take a uh, word so the beginning through character uh, up through character number five because we're slicing through index five so the sixth character but we don't include the sixth character let's say that I enter a word here um, seahorse. So, seaho. That is the first five characters in the word seahorse. Okay, what if we want to start from, um, let's say we want to start from the fourth. So, we want to start from, we want to get horse. So, we're going to start from the fourth character, which is index three. Um, so print substring. So we're going to start. So word starting from three, going through the end. So we could count up. Okay, seahorse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is index seven. We need to do one more than index seven. So eight um, to include index seven. And yes, if we run this, this will print the seahorse. Seahorse. But uh, we don't really need to include that 8. If we leave it out, Python just fills that in for you. It knows that you mean through the end of the string. And so C horse. That prints out for us. You might be wondering, I showed you what negative numbers do for, uh, for, for indexing. Do they also work for slicing? Well, why don't we take a look and find out? What if we slice 3 through negative 1? 
the seahorse. What do you think this will do? Can you guess? Yeah, I'll hit enter. Let's see. So this starts from index three and stops at the second to last character in the word. So if we try uh, picking a longer word, like seahorses, seahorse swims. This gives us horse swim. Um, because we start from the fourth character, so index three, and go all the way up through the second to last character in the word. Um, in fact, we can do this to do, uh, you, we can use this to do all sorts of cool things. What if we just want to grab the last five letters in the word? So we start with negative five and go through the end. We just leave out, uh, no number tells Python to go to the end of the word. And if we run this, seahorse, we have horse. If I put in seahorse swims, oops, let's actually run my program again. I put it, so seahorse gave us horse because those were the last five characters in the word. If I run this again and instead um, give the input, give the input seahorse swims, I get swims because the last five characters in that word are uh, swims. That's very handy. And then we can do all sorts of crazy things. Um, you might ask, hey, what if what if you give kind of slicing in the wrong order? So if you slice um, from four going to two, so starting in index four, going to index two, what do you think will happen? This is the beauty of programming languages in Python is you can just try these ideas out and answer those questions for yourself. Seahorse. So our substring is empty because you can't start from four and go to two. Um, your start index always has to be before the kind of end index. Whether you're giving that with a negative number, so counting from the back, or a positive number counting from the front, um, starting from four, going until two, it's just empty. So what did we learn today? Uh, summarize all, everything we saw today. We can use these f uh, if elif and else statements to write conditionals. And these conditionals are a type of coding construct that let us execute or not execute some code based on a condition that's using that conditional. You can nest conditionals inside of other conditionals. And the way that you determine what statements are part of the body of a conditional is based on indentation. And finally, we talked about some handy uh, built-in functions for strings that when you come to class, we're going to use to uh, solve some fun problems. That'll be it for today. I will see you in class um, on Wednesday and bring your questions. Bye.